The 2013 Academy Awards are upon us, but before the big show, I just want to go over my predictions and hopes, and of course find out who you think will take home those shiny little golden men. In case you missed it, I did a reaction video to the 2013 Oscar nominations, so you can click the link in the info to check that out if you want. And of course, depending on when you're watching this video, I may have already given my reactions to the winners of the 2013 Oscars. That will also be linked below. But this is going to be a video about my expectations or predictions, if you will, and my hopes of who wins what award. Uh, not all the categories, because I don't have opinions on all of them specifically, and it's going to go in order from what I have less of a big opinion on, I guess, and then go to what I have more of a big opinion on. Let's start off with best music, original score. I am expecting John Williams to win this one for Lincoln, only because it's John Williams. Um, I don't have much of an opinion on this because I would have liked to see Beast of the Southern Wild nominated, Dan Romer, and Ben Zeitlin. I thought they did an amazing job with the music in that. Wasn't nominated, I'm actually pretty surprised, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm not really pumped about that category. Next is best editing. I really don't know who could win this. I'm kind of just assuming Argo will win it. Kind of feels like it could. Uh, I'm thinking about that opening scene and then the ending. I feel like the editing was pretty good there because I was really, really into it. It was very intense. So my prediction and my hope is that Argo will win. Specifically, two movies I hope don't win best editing are Zero Dark Thirty and Lincoln because somebody could have gone in there and cut quite a bit out of those movies. They were too long. Best visual effects, I I think Life of Pi is going to take this one just because it's a very, you know, effects heavy movie and that's nominated for best picture, but I'm really glad Prometheus was nominated. I would like to see that win. I thought the, the visual effects were amazing in that. I really like the visual effects in the Avengers as well. I think it's important that the best character, the Hulk, was animated, but I will be happy if Life of Pi wins. No problem there. Best sound mixing is a big one for me. I will be pissed if Les Mis doesn't bring this one home. If you don't know what best sound mixing is versus best sound editing, uh, sound editing is after the fact. Obviously, it's the editing of the sounds, and so, you know, Transformers, I believe, has won in the past because those sounds are amazing. But uh, in this case, best sound mixing is the stuff that happens when you're shooting. And the fact that they sang on set, that whole deal, I think, is huge, and so I really think they deserve that one. Best Animated Feature, uh, this one, I hope, goes to Wreck-It Ralph. That was my favorite animated movie of the year. But I would be okay with Frank and Weenie winning it, because I thought that was another really good one. And Paranorman too. but I want to say Frank and Weenie more so. I think I like that one. I definitely like that one more. I won't be happy, though, if Brave wins, and I'm expecting that it's going to be Wreck-It Ralph or Brave. So I really hope Brave doesn't win. I don't think it's deserving. Best Cinematography, I'm hoping, goes to Robert Richardson for Django Unchained or Roger Deakins for Skyfall. I do think Skyfall's gonna win it. I think Roger Deakins is gonna win it. And by the way, I think in my nominations video I said I don't know why it's nominated Skyfall, but I don't know what I was thinking. I watched it again and I totally forgot <laughs> how great it is visually. I don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, I, I would be very happy if that wins or Django. Best writing, original screenplay. I would like to see Django win this one or Moonrise Kingdom, but I do think it's going to go to Django, at least of those two. Best writing for an adapted screenplay. I'm hoping for a Silver Linings Playbook, but uh, I think it could go to Silver Linings Playbook or Lincoln. This is where I think the Lincoln ones might start to kind of sneak in. Best Directing, now we're getting to the big ones. I'm expecting either Ang Lee to win for Life of Pi or Steven Spielberg to win for Lincoln. Now, this is so tough for me because I think it would be boring if Steven Spielberg wins for Lincoln. Like, he did a great job with Lincoln, but it was very, in my opinion, standard, kind of like by the numbers. Like, great, but not, like, you know, risky or anything like that, and I feel like I don't know, it's much more interesting if the director takes risks and it works. So that's my kind of logic with that. Hopefully my logic makes some kind of sense, even if you don't agree with it. That being said, I'm hoping that either Ben Zeitlin wins for Beast of the Southern Wild because I thought that was very risky and interesting filmmaking, that whole movie was great, or Michael Hanukkah for Amour. Only because I thought this was really, really risky filmmaking. Uh, if you've seen Amour, I don't want to give anything away, but it is, I mean, it is brutal. It is intense, but it's also very slow. So I don't know. I feel like that was also kind of a risk and I think it paid off. I think it worked out for what the movie is worth. And so I think risks are really what I look for when I look at best directing, but maybe that's just me. Best supporting actress is a no brainer for who I want to win. Anne Hathaway for Les Mis. 
I also kind of think it's a no-brainer for her winning. I think she's going to win. Uh, if she doesn't win, I'll be very surprised because I really do think she's going to win. So that's my expectation and my hope. Best Supporting Actor is a weird one because I thought Leonardo DiCaprio should have been nominated for this category. And I don't really understand why Christoph Waltz was nominated because I thought that he was the lead. <laughs> so I guess I'm confused on that. I think he's been nominated for that in multiple award shows but he has also won. So I'm expecting Christoph Waltz to win, or I'm expecting Philip Seymour Hoffman to win. So I think it's going to be either of those two, but I'd be happy with Christoph Waltz winning. I would also be happy with Philip Seymour Hoffman winning, and I would be happy with Robert De Niro winning, because I thought he did a great job as well. So this is kind of broad for me. I don't have anything specific. This is where, like I said, I'd be, you know, happy with multiple ways that it goes. Best Actress. This is a weird one. Uh, I thought Jennifer Lawrence did a great job, but I don't think it was Best Actress material. However, I do think she might win for Best Actress. Uh, Jessica Chastain, I would imagine, is kind of the expected win, but we'll get to Zero Dark Thirty in a minute. I don't think any of that was worth it. I mean, she was great, but I do think there were better. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, I thought, was better. And then I hope that uh, either the youngest or the oldest wins. Quivenjanae Wallace uh, from Beasts of the Southern Wild, amazing, but the problem is how much of it was really acting and how much of it was her just being herself. Maybe she just happened to work in this movie. I don't know. She was great, though. And then, like I said, the oldest, uh, Emmanuel Riva, this is clearly acting. She's pulling from life experiences here, and it is insane. It's intense. I don't even know what to say about her. So I'm on the fence. I would be happy with either of them winning. I'd also be happy with Jennifer Lawrence winning. Best Actor, I'm expecting Daniel Day-Lewis to take this one, and it is well-deserved. So of the Lincoln nominations, I do think that all of them are kind of like the boring choices, like I said. But, I mean, he was great. So what can I say? I, I would be okay with that. However, I do think that Hugh Jackman was amazing in Les Mis, so I would love to see him win. I thought Bradley Cooper was really, really good. It's tough to say because I feel feel like he was really good, but was it good enough? I don't really know, but I do think that he was good enough because he was really great in Silver Linings Playbook. So I'd be happy with him winning as well or bringing up the master again. Like I said, Philip Seymour Hoffman as best supporting. I'd be cool with that. Joaquin Phoenix was amazing in the master. So that could be kind of a surprise and I'd be cool with that as well. And finally, best picture. Now this is going to be uh, potentially a huge upset for me or it could be awesome. I'm expecting Lincoln or Argo to win. Now here's the deal. Lincoln, I'll be really upset if this wins. Not that it wasn't a great film. It was. But like I said, felt very uninspired. It felt very sort of standard great, if that makes any sense. And as far as Argo goes, uh, I thought it was great, but I don't know about Best Picture. I mean, it's been winning so many awards and I'm very surprised because I did think it was... I don't even know. I thought it was really, really good. But... Best Picture, ah, I just don't see it. I'm really hoping that Beasts of the Southern Wild wins. That's my vote for Best Picture this year, out of the nominees, of course. I would also be happy if Les Mis wins, because I thought that was fearless filmmaking, uh, especially with the whole singing on the set and just the way it was shot. Everything about that was great, so that's that would be deserved. Uh, also, I think that Amour, once again, was very sort of risky filmmaking, so I'd be cool with that. I don't think that will win. And I have to say, Silver Linings Playbook, that would be awesome. I just don't think that will win either, though. So I really think it's going to come down to Lincoln or Argo. I really don't expect, and I would be pissed if it won, Zero Dark Thirty. I don't even know why this is nominated. I don't think it deserves to be nominated. But those are my opinions on this year's Academy Awards and my, like I said, predictions and hopes and stuff. I know it's kind of broad, but honestly, I'll be happy with multiple ways that this thing goes. I will say that even though I'll be happy with multiple ways it goes, uh, my main movie I'm rooting for in most of the categories is Beasts of the Southern Wild. I think it would be awesome if that wins. Uh, and I could see it winning because it's kind of like the oddball choice. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, I'm just hoping that it's not a big Steven Spielberg Lincoln sweep. I really hope Zero Dark Thirty doesn't get anything. I don't I don't think it deserves anything. I don't really understand why that's there. I thought it was good, but just good. But let me know what you think. I'm so curious to know what you guys are rooting for. Who you think will win, because that's a big difference. Who you want to win and who you think will win, huge difference, as you can tell by my list, uh, because I'm not super happy about what I think will win in some categories. But yeah, let me know uh, your expectations and your predictions and your hopes and your dreams and your life goals. I don't know. I'm crossing my fingers for a good show. I have high hopes. I think Seth MacFarlane's going to be a great host, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, let me know what you think. And that's pretty much it. <laughs>